Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, checking out the other game that released yesterday, Untitled Goose Game by House House. Um, I don't know a lot about this game. Uh, I know it involves a goose, and I know that the developers seem pretty cool. I, you know, checked their bird site, they've got pronouns and bio, stuff like that, so I was happy to purchase it. Uh, so we're gonna give this a look. Hopefully, uh, the recording will work properly. Apparently my Link's Awakening recording yesterday glitched or something and it stopped recording my commentary track, which is really weird. I don't know what happened there. Um, so hopefully we won't have that problem this time. I, I don't know what went wrong. Um, it just apparently stopped recording partway through, which is terrible. Um, I'll, I'll keep a close eye on the, um, little VMU meter down here to make sure it's still picking up my voice and we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, so mute that down there. There we go. Okay, so yeah, Untitled Goose Game. I believe you play as a goose, and that's about all I know so far. So let's start the game and find out some more about it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. House House Presents. In cooperation with Panic. With assistance from Victoria State Government, Film Victoria Australia. Okay. Untitled Goose Game by House House. I got begin, options, and credits. Let's have a look at the options. Oh, there's lots. Uh, run, bend, wing, zoom, vibration, to do list text, cursive plane, adjust controller. I guess you can remap everything, which is nice. Looks like you can, yeah, remap all the buttons. Which is good. Uh, always nice to have. You can adjust the volume. Uh, it's a couple of different languages, but looks of things. Quite a few, actually. Cool. Uh, I don't know what this does. Oh, it's like hoggle, toggle or hold these buttons. I guess I'll put it, leave it in the defaults for now. You can change the font for the to-do list to make it easier to read. Yeah, that looks like a good set of options. Uh, let's begin. Okay, so we've got three save files. And we got a little eraser over there. So let's go save one. There we go. Loading. Wow. That's a noise geese make, right? Press Y to honk. Oh. Oh, is that me? I'm a goose? Oh. Hold B to run. Okay, so if I move around without holding B, I walk at a generally slow sort of pace. If I hold B, I go quite a bit faster. Okay, makes sense. Hold ZL to bend forwards. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's a tree in the way, so I've got to crawl under like this. We're holding ZL. Okay. Press A to use your beak. Oh, okay, so it, like, highlights a thing, and then I can press A to pick it up. Like the shoe, for example. I don't know what I want the shoe for. Bend down to pick up things off the ground. Hold ZL and then press A. Okay, lets me get that little can there. But da 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 da. Cool. Should I get the tennis ball as well? I don't know if I need need to get any of these things. I'm guessing probably not because they don't seem to be doing a whole lot. But then I can put them on stuff, which is nice. Uh, I can't move the camera around. I'm trying to use the right stick right now. It doesn't seem to do anything, so... I guess that's okay, but it's a little annoying. Which you might expect. Okay, so yeah, I need to pick these up in order to open the gate. There we go. Ah! So yeah, you do need to learn how to bend down so you can open that gate. Hold ZR to spread your wings. Okay, the the spread. So we're gonna do something. Or... Untitled Goose Game by House House. There's a sandwich. I'll have a sandwich. Can I eat it or can I just pick it up? Goodbye, Apple. <laughs> Here's a lawnmower. Can I mow the lawn? Doesn't look like it. 
Can I break the lawnmower? I don't even interact with it at all, which is kind of weird. Press minus to your to-do list and controls. To do, get into the garden, get the groundskeeper wet, steal the groundskeeper's keys, make the groundskeeper wear his sun hat, rake, rake, rake in the lake, have a picnic. Okay, so first step, get into the garden. That's the garden over there, so uh, let me see. I can use this shovel, maybe, to do something. There's also a radio here. Hold L to zoom in. Yep, okay, R to zoom out. Makes sense. I can probably turn this on, right? Turn that sprinkler. Yep. Okay, I can annoy, annoy the groundskeeper using this. Oh, I see. And I can get inside. Ah! <laughs> run, 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 run. Sneak past the groundskeeper. There we go. Get into the garden. Done. Next, I need to get the groundskeeper wet. In the garden now. Well, here's a watering can. Let's let's try using that. No, no, it's mine. <laughs> this is mine now. No, bad groundskeeper. <laughs> can I reach that? Don't think I can. I'm not really sure how I would get the groundskeeper wet. Like, I can't really turn on the sprinkler because the gate will be shut. Hmm. Oh, the gate's still open, okay. Maybe I can just go back out here and switch on the sprinkler at the right time or something. Yeah, I think I need to lure him over there, maybe? Well, let's see. Let's see. What if I... What if I, uh, get this shovel here and mess with it a little bit? Can I mess with it? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. How about these carrots? Yeah, let's get a carrot. Put a carrot over here. There we go. <laughs> This game is silly, um, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's kind of a puzzle game, I guess, where you're a goose. It kind of reminds me a bit of uh, Donut County, uh, which is a game that I really enjoyed, uh, where you uh, played as a hole, and you had to do hole things, basically. Yeah, get the groundskeeper wet. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> So yeah, I lured him over there by putting carrots out, and now, hang on, can I lock him out of the garden? That would be cool. I can, yes. Take that, groundskeeper. <laughs> I have to steal his keys, which, which are on his belt, I believe, so I need to sneak up on him, I guess? Seems to be having some trouble putting those things back in place. Yeah, his keys are on the left side of his belt there. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh no, I'm trapped in the corner. <laughs> this game is funny. He's trying to stack them, but he's having a lot of trouble. Give me, give me those keys. No. Uh, well, he's distracted by the carrots, right? So maybe I can... Ah! Hello, I'm a goose. <laughs> I took the carrot instead. <laughs> yep, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got the keys, I got the keys. What am I doing with them? <laughs> oh, this game is funny. 
Okay, can I open this door with them? No, I don't think so. What door can I open with the keys? Make the groundskeeper wear his sun hat. Uh, I guess I could make it try to make it sunnier. I don't know what I want to do with the keys. Uh, can I hide them somewhere so that he can't find them? Like under here, maybe? Mm, doesn't look like it. Hmm. What if I put him in this flower pot? Oh, this, they're on top of it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I put him over here. I won't be able to find him in there, right? <laughs> you make him wear his sun hat. Where is his sun hat? Hmm. Well, there's an apple. Uh, some water over here. I guess I could get him wet over here instead if I wanted to. I'm in trouble getting this uh, bucket where I want it to be. Not bucket. What's this thing called? Watering can. Ah! <laughs> Ground groundskeeper. Very scary. Oh, there's cabbage. Um, I haven't seen his sun hat. I don't know where it is. So I'm not sure how I make him wear it. Um, maybe I can try to make the make it sunnier so that so that his sun hat like. Can I pick that up? I can. Okay. Just gonna leave it in here. There we go. Here's some boots. Oh, there's his sun hat. There it is. Okay. Um, how do I get up to it? I reckon if I grab something like this, this rake, maybe I can use it to grab the sun hat. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure how I'd make him wear it. I mean, that's it there. I can I can see it. How do I? Hmm. The D-pad does nothing, by the way. Got to use the analog stick, which is fine because it has like fully analog control, as far as I can tell. I don't know what spreading my wings actually does. It doesn't seem to let me fly or anything. It just makes my wings bigger. Which, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, but it doesn't seem to achieve much. I'm glad I don't take damage when, like, I mess with him. It's, it's, it's handy. Maybe I can try to steal his existing hat, and then he'll wear a sun hat instead? I don't know. Make the groundskeeper wear his sun hat. Hmm... I can take his jam. My jam now. Take his radio too. I just don't know how I would get him to take off that hat. Maybe I don't need to take him need him to take off his hat. Hey carrots. <laughs> this is confusing. I'm enjoying it though. I'm having fun. Uh, even though I don't really know what I'm doing. Sign of a good game when you can have fun when you don't know what you're doing. That should knock the hat down, right? No, it went straight through the hat, didn't do anything. So, I must need to do something else. Hmm. I don't know what, though. It looks like I can't reach that. I'm still not sure what spreading wings is supposed to do. I don't seem to be able to fly or anything. I don't really get the advantage of spreading your wings like that if it doesn't have any effect. It doesn't seem to do anything, so I, I don't know. But, but I don't, hang on, there's a hole back there. Where does that go? Oh, okay. I see. Uh, I can't reach that because it's on the other side. Hmm. I know I need to put the rake into the river or whatever. Rake in the lake is one of the tasks. So maybe I'll show you get the rake and do that. Hmm. It's possible that the way I make him wear the sun hat is with something else that's outside of the garden. Let's have a look around. We got a picnic blanket here. Um, we got a little uh, 
water thingy here. Uh, we got this uh, lawnmower here, but I don't think we'll do anything with the lawnmower, so I'm not quite sure what it's there for. Hmm. I think stealing his rake and getting it out into the lake sounds like a pretty tricky task. What's in this picnic basket? Can I open it? Yeah, I think I can. Maybe? Hang on. No, I can only grab the sides, so I can actually open it. Hmm. This is an interesting concept for a game, I must say. <laughs> well, I've still got his keys. Okay, I, I can grab his rake while he's over there, right? And then drag it through this sort of direction. Hopefully he won't spot me. Okay. There we go. Rake. Rake. Rake in the lake. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Rake in the lake. Yeah. I'm so powerful. <laughs> okay. We also need a picnic. Bring to the picnic blanket sandwich, apple, pumpkin, carrot, jam, thermos, radio, basket. So basically everything. Um, this apple. I'm still not sure how to make him wear the sun hat. That sounds tricky. But I can bring the other things. That's not too tricky. Most of them are actually out here, and he won't, like, complain. Do I have to bring both halves of the sandwich, or just, like, one sandwich? Let's have a look. Is it crossing them off? It hasn't crossed off the sandwich, so I probably need both halves. It's now crossed off. Okay, so I still need the pumpkin, carrot, jam, thermos, radio, and basket. Uh, the basket is over here. I was dragging it around earlier, so I can just grab that. And just take it with me. Easy. It's a little bit heavier, so I can't move quite as quickly as I can with the other things. That's okay, though. Da -da 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 -da. It's a goose having a picnic. Okay, the other things belong to the groundskeeper, which will make it a bit trickier. I know I need a carrot, so I'll just grab one from here and just go for it. <laughs> Okay, jam, thermos, radio, they're all on that table at the back. The pumpkin I can grab pretty easily, probably. So let's do that next. This is a fascinating idea for a game. <laughs> You're just a goose messing with everyone. It sounds amazing. Okay, let's go. Pumpkin is a bit heavier than a carrot, as you might expect, since it is larger and rounder and a pumpkin. I don't know if you knew that, but a pumpkin is in fact a pumpkin. There we go. Okay, I still need the jam, thermos, and radio. All of which are on the groundskeeper's little table up here. He's looking for his pumpkin. Okay, so that's covering the radio, which is back here. It makes a noise when it's on, so he might notice me if I'm not careful. Like, when I'm holding it, it's making noise, even though I didn't try to switch it on. There we go. I imagine that's probably the hardest thing to steal, because it makes a noise. Okay, we still need the jam and the thermos. I don't know why we need jam already, because, like, there's a whole sandwich there already. Dude, no. No, you're not allowed. Maybe if I lock him out? Because he doesn't have the keys, because I stole them. He shouldn't be able to get back in with the things he's taken, right? Yeah, he's taken the radio, but I don't think he can get back through the gate. Because he doesn't have keys. Lock the groundskeeper out of the garden. Was that a task? Oh, it's a secret task. I see. I see. I see. Cool. Alright, well, he's locked out of the garden, so... Uh, I'm going to get out of the garden through this little ha hole over here. Just take the jam where I want it to be. And then I'll do the same thing with the thermos, I suppose. And then I guess I'll steal his radio again. I am a horrible goose. <laughs> this game is great. <laughs> so cute. 
Okay, uh, I still need, yeah, the thermos and the radio. So, I think the thermos will be easier to steal because it's silent on, like, a radio, which is loud. It makes, it makes a loud noise. Also, the groundskeeper's locked out now, so I can pretty much do whatever I want inside the garden. You can turn quickly if you let go of B. Yeah, I knew that. Um, it sort of makes you go forward rather than just turning on the spot. Uh, it's pretty simple. The controls are a little strange, but they don't take too much getting used to. Uh, can I get through here? Yeah, cool. thought the thermos might be too wide, but no, easy peasy. I'm gonna have a picnic regardless of what the groundskeeper says. Yeah! Gonna have a nice picnic and put his rake in the lake as well. I don't know what I'm singing. <laughs> Okay, so he's just standing over here, right? Yeah, oh no, there's the radio. Where, where's the groundskeeper? Where did he go? <laughs> anyway, picnic time. Have a picnic, yeah. A new to-do list item. Make the groundskeeper hammer his thumb. That sounds difficult. Hmm. He hasn't worn his sun hat yet, either. Wh where did he go? Oh, there he is. He's over there. Trying to figure out how to get back in, I suppose. I'm a goose. I'm a horrible goose. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. <laughs> What's in here? How, how do I make him wear the sun hat? Like, if I could steal his existing hat, maybe, but... How am I going to do that? Maybe if I can get him to crouch down, I could grab his hat and then run off with it while he's crouching? Something like that? I guess I should probably let him back into the garden so that I can do that. Alright, dude. You can come back in if you really want to. Oh, he heard the radio. Gotta go find his radio. Uh, I kind of looked the great, which is weird. Maybe I need the keys. They're in here somewhere. <laughs> Found them. <laughs> this game is silly. I have my keys. I have your keys. Can you get them? Can you get them? Oh, he took them through the gate. Okay. Welcome back. Okay. Let me see. Will he crouch down to do stuff? if he's kind of crouched down, I can probably grab his hat while he's crouching, right? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Maybe I need to make him do something different? I don't know. Goose, 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 goose. I am a goose. <laughs> Yeah, so he didn't he didn't crouch to do that either. Hmm. I'm just not sure what I need to do to make him take off his hat. Hmm. If I could get the other hat down, that would work too. Maybe maybe if I pull this uh Esky over here, under the sun hat, I might be able to climb on it or something? I, I don't know. Mm, I don't think so. Hmm. just doesn't want to crouch. It's very weird. Hmm. Maybe, maybe if I put the water on the other tap, because that one's a bit lower? I don't know, this is a very puzzling kind of game. <laughs> Sprinkle is on. Oh, 
Yeah, no, he's not not crouching. Hmm. And to make him hammer his thumb, I'm gonna need that hammer, right? The one that's up there. So... Is there a hint system in this game? I feel like there probably should be, because it's... very confusing. <laughs> Boot. Can I put the boot over here and, like, fill it up with water or something? That'd be pretty funny. It's actually very easy to steal these keys. <laughs> gonna just gonna take him through here. Is there anything in this box or is it empty? Well, hang on. Whoa. Okay, I can gain height from these. All right. Let's bring this over and see what we can do. <laughs> I want to get that sun hat. Uh, it's not happening now. It was happening a second ago, but now it's not. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to do it like that, because it doesn't seem to be working. Um, uh, maybe I can use it over here? Well, he's just grabbed a box, so I don't think that's it. Hmm. This is a confusing game, starring an untitled goose. Untitled goose for Smash. Oh, I can grab the back of this as well as the front. Okay, so I can drag it around this way. That might make it easier to fill. Hmm. I still don't know what to do with this, though. Hmm, there's a brick over there. Is that helpful in any way? I can't really see what's over there very well. This is a strange game. I don't know if you've noticed, but this game is weird. Um... It's like you're you're a goose, and and you're doing goose things, and you got to solve some goosey puzzles. Hammer his thumb. Hmm. Well, he's not using a hammer at all. Is the problem, and I don't know how to make him use a hammer. Put the rose over there. If I could like. Oh, he's using it. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Here we go, he's using the hammer to put up a no gooses sign. Maybe I can distract him or something. And then he'll hammer his thumb. Game is silly. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I need to startle him at just the right time so that he accidentally hits his thumb. Maybe I need to move the sign at just the right time so he accidentally hits his thumb. Yeah, I think I can manage that. Okay. Got a hammer, got a hammer. So I don't know what to do about the, um, the what's it? The, um, the sun hat. He's already wearing a hat. I guess, I guess I need to I can't see a way to steal his existing hat, which seems to be the way you would make him wear another hat. Okay, he's putting the sign back up now. 
So I just need to sneak over at the right time. I think I'm too close. Ah! <laughs> ah! Didn't manage it. I think I'm timing it wrong. <laughs> He's got it stuck on his leg. <laughs> No, it still didn't work. Maybe I need to do something different. Maybe if I honk at him at just the right time. One. Yeah, that worked. Hit his thumb. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. I'm sorry, Mr. Groundskeeper. I'm sorry. Now he's thinking about jam. How do I make him wear a different hat? That just doesn't seem like a thing that... Maybe I need something from through here to do it? Hmm. Let's have a look around. Got another gate here that I can't open. Goose, 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 I still don't know what putting out my wings like this does. I don't think I've used it for anything yet, so... Okay, we've got a car here, and we've got like a puddle. Uh, got a drain. Can I, can I pull the thing off the drain? Doesn't look like it. Okay, there's a guy thinking about aeroplanes. Uh, here's a milk bottle. Which I can wear on my nose. It's pretty cute. <laughs> Is this yours? Hmm. Do I have a new list for this? Yeah, I do. Okay, there's a bunch of new stuff. <laughs> the wrong glasses, get on TV, go shopping. Wow, I still don't know how to make him wear his sun hat. I'm really confused about that one. Maybe I, maybe I missed something. Let's have, go back and have a look. Hopefully so far you're getting an idea of this game. I kind of wish it had a bit of a hint system because... I am having trouble figuring out some of these puzzles. Um, maybe I can spill jam on his other hat or something. That would work. Oh, he's still bringing things back. I got him wet, and he didn't want to change hats when I did that, so that can't be it. Hmm. It's me, a goose. Did you miss me when I was goosing around? Hmm. Yeah, I just don't know how to do that one. I guess I don't have to do that one because I made him hammer his thumb already and that unlocked this new area that I can go into, but I'll take this no geese sign with me. But, I, I don't know, it feels like I should do it. Mm, but I don't know how. I guess there's a broom I need to break around here somewhere, apparently. Uh, I assume I can get water out of this thing, too. Uh, maybe not. I need to be able to interact with it, which is weird. Well, there's a ball over here. Let's, let's play with the ball. And we've got a shop over here. Which I can't get into. Guessing that's how I get on TV, using that television shop there. I'm not sure that's how televisions actually work, but, you know, whatever. Okay, here's some tools. Is there a broom around here somewhere? That guy's thinking of a broom. Hmm. 
toothbrush, loo paper, hairbrush, tinned food, cleaner, fruit, and veg. Hmm. Well, I can see a bunch of fruit and veg and stuff around here, so I guess this is how you go shopping. Is that the broom? Is he grabbing it now? That's the broom! Oh, he's grabbing it to scare me off with it. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna have to break that broom, I'm afraid. Let's go. Come on, broom. Okay, we've got a garage door over here, blocks of things. Can I open this? Doesn't look like it. Hmm, maybe I can. Let's keep looking. Let's see what else I can do. Well, the toothbrush. Found it in the bin. That sounds healthy. Uh, what do we got here? What's this? What's this thing? A little radio or something? I wonder if that broadcasts the other one if I honk into this one. That would be cool. Remote honking. My loo paper. I should have to put it in this basket, and that's how I do the shopping. It doesn't want to fit in the basket, though. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Put that in the basket. Along with the other things, like the toothbrush and all that stuff. Well, here's the boy's aeroplane. Um, drop him in the phone booth. Wrong glasses. How do I make him wear the wrong glasses? Hmm. That sounds tricky. Uh, I haven't also haven't actually seen a phone booth, so I'm going to need to look around for that. This is an interesting game, I must say. Basi it's like a sort of physics puzzle game. Oh, here we are. Here's the phone booth. Uh, how would I trap him in there? I guess I could put something like outside the door while he's in there, but he's not in there, so... I'd need to wait a bit until he is in there, I guess. What's this thing? So this shop here with the TVs, I assume there's a way to get in there, but I just don't see how you would do it. Because that guy is watching the door very closely by the looks of things. Maybe I can create a diversion. Hmm. There's the boy. Can I untie his shoelaces? That'd be funny. I can! Okay, I just need to like sneak up behind him or something. Yeah, but he sees me straight away when I try. Um, but I can definitely do it. It's like a thing that it's given me the, the little prompt for, so... It's just, if I get too close to him, he just scares me away. Maybe I need to wait till he's distracted by something. Like that ball, for example. Ah! I'm thinking about the plane again. Oh, I got one of his shoelaces. It worked. Take his glasses. Yes! No glasses for you, boy! Now he can't see, because he has no glasses. Now I've got to find some other glasses to give to him. Uh, I'll hide these over here. There we go. With the with the leaks. Um, ah, more glasses. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. I need to steal some of your glasses. I'm sorry. It's just a video game. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I need to grab these glasses and run, 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 and put them in front of the boy so he wears them, right? There we go. And now he can't see because they're the wrong glasses, right? Or can he see? Can you see now? Apparently you can see now. And that's weird because he shouldn't be able to see because <laughs> he's wearing the wrong glasses. <laughs> And it was made pretty clear he couldn't see without his glasses, so I don't know about that. Um, can I open this? 
I feel like I can open that garage door, but I'm just not sure how. Mm. Just those little chairs here. Mm. There's a mailbox. Yeah, this is a very... Um, strange game, I, I've got to say. <laughs> I, I think that's an appropriate word. Um, it's very weird and strange. Hello, I'm a goose. You're gonna go to the phone booth? Looks like you're going towards the phone booth. Oh, I can scare him towards the phone booth. Hang on, yeah, get in there. Get in there. Get in the phone booth. Stay there. Oh, that's all I need to do. Okay, I thought I had to actually, like... Is that gonna make something happen over here? Is that guy moving? Yeah, I think he answered the phone call. I don't know why, because... Like a shop person, but yeah, let's let's do something in the TV shop. Let's go. Heck yeah, goose on TV! Woohoo! <laughs> oh oh um, <laughs> run away! <laughs> Horrible goose. <laughs> Make someone buy back their own stuff. Also break the broom, which I haven't managed to do yet either. Um. Well, there's the broom. Let's, let's grab this and see if I can distract you. Okay, you dropped the broom, so let's grab it. Mine now. How do I break it? Uh... Yeah, that worked. <laughs> broom is broken. <laughs> okay, so how do I do the shopping part? That seems a bit tricky. Also, how do I make someone buy back their own stuff? That sounds complicated. Oh, I see. I've got to put the toys over here with the other toys so the boy has to buy his plane again, right? Yeah, he's gonna think it's one of his, right? Yeah, okay, okay, and now, now, now the little boy is gonna be like, where's my stuff, and come back to have to buy it, because it's been stolen. Hi, boy. Go away. Okay, I'm just gonna push the ball this direction, into the shop, and then the, guy, the shopkeeper will think it's his. This game is very silly, by the way, in case you were wondering. Did you notice that the ball is there? Doesn't look like it. I stole all your toys, man. Sorry. You have to go buy them back. Yeah, he's going to the shop now, looking for his toys. Yep, he's gonna buy the plane. Yes, it worked. <laughs> it's me, a horrible goose. Let's take the loo paper while they're doing that. No, go in the basket, not next to the basket. Buy back their own stuff. Yeah. A new to-do list item, trap the shopkeeper in the garage. Okay, so that's how I can buy everything. If I can trap him in the garage, then he won't get in my way because he'll be in the garage. So let's see if I can... How do I open the garage? That's the question. Oh, hang on, he's going to open it. He's going in there to get something. So I can probably just close it again, right? Once he's in there. Yeah, I can, okay. Can I reopen the garage now? Or is it stuck? Because I feel like I've messed up. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, if I can put him in the garage permanently, I can steal things very easily because he'll be in the garage. Oh, oh, you got a piece of chalk so we could write no geese. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> As a geese, I find this offensive. I know I'm a horrible goose, but but you just you didn't have to do that, okay? It's just just it's just mean. How do I open the garage again? Oh, I think he's doing it now. Hang on. Yeah, he's going into the garage. Well, at least he's opening the garage, so now I can go in the garage. Maybe if I lure him in here, I can do something useful. What's he got in here? There's some more chalk. Um. I can't take a whole lot of other stuff. Camera won't let me, like, go in there. Okay, if I grab the broom, he's gonna want the broom back. So let's put the broom inside the garage. Like, way up the back here. There we go. Hey, you. You need your broom so you can attack me. Yeah, he's going for the broom. It's working. Come on, broom, get the broom. Get the broom. He's now thinking about a label, a labeler, I think. I think that's a labeler. Oh, hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna steal his calculator. Here we go, calculator goes in the garage. There we go. What else can I take? Take this piece of food. Dude, look over here. All your stuff's in the garage. <laughs> this game is silly. Carrot? Where's my broom? It's in the garage, man. Look in the garage. Can you go steal his label maker? Is it a label maker or something else? I can't really tell. Dude, I'm trying to steal your label maker. Let me steal your label maker, god. Okay, let's go. Okay, yeah, he saw, he saw his other stuff. Let's do this. Heck yeah! Gee, let's steal everything now. <laughs> Okay, the toothbrush we can just get from the bin. We don't need to actually buy a toothbrush. Uh, because we're not actually going to clean our teeth because we're a goose. We, we don't have those. Oh no, the shopkeeper's back. Oh, run! Toothbrush, blue paper. We need a hairbrush. Which is up here, that's it. On top of that air. Hairbrush. Uh, tinned food, cleaner fruit and veg. Oop, hairbrush fell out. Do I still have it? Yeah, I do. Cool. Uh, tinned food, tinned food. Well, I can see some fruit and veg here. That's pretty easy. I can't see any tinned food. Oh no, he has the broom again. He found the broom. <laughs> this game is so funny. <laughs> oh no, no, don't take the hairbrush. That's mine. That's my hairbrush. It's mine now. Uh, does a tomato count as fruit or veg? I mean, it's a fruit, so maybe. It's my hairbrush? Yeah, I need to get it again. Thankfully, they can only carry one thing at a time, even though they're very small objects that you think they could hold several of. So it's not too tricky.
Okay, the apple didn't... Oh, no, I'd actually get the apple. That's right. Dude, you dropped your broom again. No! Okay, that crosses out fruit and veg when I do that, so... I still need tinned food and cleaner from somewhere. Um, I assume they're over here at the shop somewhere, but I don't think I've spotted them. Uh, like a flower or something? Hang on, there's there's some cleaner. That looks like cleaner. That shelf, okay. So that's tinned food. There we go. Let's put it in our collection. And then I assume that can of stuff is the cleaner, like with the little green icon there. Yeah, I went shopping. Cool. <laughs> okay, so the fact that you open this gate on the side here means I can get to the next area, I think. Also, the garage is still open, which is interesting. But yeah, he came through this side gate, so I can probably go this way now. And explore someone else's life and ruin it by being a horrible goose. Finally, all my dreams have come true. I can be a horrible goose, just like in real life. Wonderful. Well, I can see a lot of stuff going on. Can I get through here? Okay, yeah, I can take these boards out. There we go. To get into this person's yard. I'm reading the newspaper over there. What do I need to do here? Make someone break the fancy vase. Help the woman dress up the bust. Make the man spit out his tea. Get dressed up with a ribbon. Make the man go barefoot. Do the washing with a bra, a pair of socks, a slipper, and a bar of soap. Okay, um, I can probably just take his shoes, right? Well, I oh know he saw me. I just walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. Take his shoes. There we go. Well, he has one slipper off, but I probably need to take both of them without him noticing. Hmm. Here's some water I can swim in. Look how innocent and lovely I am. Horrible goose. <laughs> it's me, the horrible goose. Is that the ribbon? Can I use that ribbon? Hmm. It's just such a weird game. I love it. <laughs> I just need to take his shoe and then put it somewhere where he can't see it. Okay, I think I can do that. Let's just get behind the cover. Take his shoe, put it behind the hedge over here. Then he won't, you know, look down and see that there's a slipper hanging out. Yeah, I think that'll work. If I just wait a little bit, he'll go back to his paper. Maybe cross his legs the other way. Or not. If I just wait a bit, maybe he'll cross his legs the other way. Come on, man. Cross your legs the other way. Mm. Oh, no. He's gonna see the slipper. Oh, you didn't actually see the slipper. That's weird. Take his newspaper. <laughs> it's mine now. I'm gonna put it over here. Oh no, he saw me! <laughs> this game is so silly. Taking the slipper. I like the music too. It's like really 
stylish. If I push it out here in the water, will he? You don't want to get wet, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, hang on, he's gonna grab it. No, it's mine now. Hello, I'm a horrible goose. That's how the game is actually advertised, by the way. It says, like, there's a peaceful village and you are a horrible goose. Which is why I keep saying I'm a horrible goose. <laughs> you can't reach. Oh, oh, there we go. Now he got it. He got it. Now his slippers are all wet. <laughs> Look at his soggy slippers. <laughs> That's what he deserves for reading a newspaper. Fancy vase? This is the fancy vase, right? I found it. What if I just show it off and be like, hey, grab the fancy vase. I have your fancy vase. How do I break it? <laughs> Ribbon. My ribbon. It's mine now. I want to wear it. How do I wear it? I need to disguise myself as the other goose? How would I do that? <laughs> hmm. Oh, there's the bra. Let's, let's get it washed up. Let's go. Come on, bra. Got a bra now. <laughs> I guess I need to dunk it in the fountain or something. What's this thing? Blah! Oh, wind chimes. That's fun. <laughs> Cross your arms in frustration. <laughs> oh, a bell. That's fun. You can deafen that man. <laughs> He's so angry at his neighbor. It wasn't the neighbor, it was me. The goose all along. Oh wow, that wasn't a very well constructed table. <laughs> oh my goodness, this game. This game is cute. I've been playing for nearly an hour, so I guess I should give some thoughts. Um, I really, really like this game. It's just so silly and clever and ridiculous. It just, it just really appeals to me. On a, on a primal level, I've always wanted to be a horrible goose. That, that is a not fragile vase, I have to say. Uh, hang on, what if I steal this ribbon? Can I disguise myself as the other goose? So I can put the ribbon on? Or, I don't, I don't know. Like, I can grab the ribbon, but to, like, put it on, I'm gonna need some help, I'm guessing. Can't interact with the other goose to, like, move it out of the way and pick take its place as the pro goose of the of the world. As far as I can tell anyway. Let us stand here. No, no, I got to get away. Oh I can mess with the topiary and then they're gonna fix it with the with the little trimmers. Oh that's cool. Okay, so yeah this game um it controls really well. It's a little strange to get used to but it it's really comfortable, like, once you get the idea. It's a really interesting genre of game. It's, like, kind of like a stealth game, but it's okay if you get seen most of the time, but you do need to sneak around a little bit. Also, you're a goose, which is hilarious, and I love it. And a lot of it seems to revolve around putting stuff in weird places and just doing weird stuff to people, which is fun. Um... I do think it could use like a little bit of a hint system to help you figure out some of the trickier uh, things it's asking you to do because it is kind of vague sometimes. Um, it's not a huge problem, it's just a little vague. If you get my, my, my gist. I'm gonna just take this and just put it over here in the water. 
I assume everything you can just drag around like this floats, just so that they can find it again. There, now I'm gonna scrub the topiary. Haha, ha, you've ruined topiary forever. Wait, where did the ribbon go? It's not on the other duck. Oh, it's over here. Over here. Other oh, duck. It's a goose. Give me the ribbon. Let me wear it. I want to wear the ribbon. Let me wear the ribbon. I deserve the ribbon. Yeah, the, I'm gonna have to have her think I'm the think I'm the fake goose to have her tie it on me, but I don't know how to do that. Anyway, yeah, this game, um. I really like it. It's not actually very expensive either. I think I think it's like twenty dollars or something, rather than you know the usual sixty for a Switch game at the moment. I think it's being discounted because it's a release price and they want to encourage people to get it. But yeah, uh, something like that. Um, and yeah, I think it looks really good. I don't know how much content there is here, but I imagine it's pretty replayable. Uh, since I've been finding. Since I've, you know, not been able to do some of the things on the list, I'll probably figure out how to do them later. Uh, like how to make that guy wear his sun hat, for example. Because I don't know how to do that. <sighs> um, what else? Yeah, I like this game. Um, I still don't know what doing this is for. Pressing ZR or making your wings go out. I haven't found anything that that's useful for yet. So I guess we'll see what that's useful for as we progress. Because I still don't actually know. Um, if I just stand here, is she gonna... Oh no, she just put it over there. Okay. Thought she might like rebuild the thing with me standing on it, which would have been kind of funny. Uh... I think there's also another house over here I could probably go into, because there are a few different paths I could take. Let's see what happens if I go this way. But yeah, um, so far I'm impressed with this game, and I like it, and it's really weird and fun, and it has a charming sense of humour and weirdness to it, which appeals to me. Can I put this in here? Made a wish. Do I, do I get my wish? I hope so. Um, and I like how, you know, there's a to-do list of stuff and a lot of it's optional, so you can just do the stuff you want to do. I kind of like how it's sort of an open world, like I've just opened up a gate here. This is back to where the first guy is, the groundskeeper. So I've sort of got a shortcut now to go back and do this early stuff. You can see it's showing me the earlier to-do list, so you can go back and do stuff later. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I also liked the range of, like, accessibility sort of options it gave you here. Because you can adjust, you know, the different, uh, whether you have to hold or just tap the buttons, that sort of thing. Uh, and you can change the to-do list from cursive to just plain text to make it easier to read if you can't read cursive, that sort of thing. Uh, you could rewrap all the controls, which is always great. <sighs> Love rewrapping controls, it's a good thing. Which appeals to me on a primal level. Um, I like how there doesn't seem to be any way to, like, fail. Like, people don't kill you or anything if you mess up. You just get scared away and you get to come back after a second and you keep doing what you were doing. Uh, I also like how cute you are, especially when you're in the water. It's pretty adorable. Can I go in here? Maybe. It's kind of like a maybe I can. Um, I, I still don't know what, what putting your wings up like this is for. It doesn't seem to do anything. But maybe there's some like to-do items that you do need to do that for and I just haven't figured out what they are yet. So I guess, I guess I'll see as I keep playing. <sighs> but generally, this game looks real cool and I really like it and I'm happy I picked it up. And I'm enjoying it. And it's extremely silly, which is something that I appreciate in my video games. Um, 
I kind of get the feeling once you've done everything, there might not be that much replay value, but there's a lot of stuff to do as far as I can tell, so that's okay. And it wasn't very expensive anyway, so it, I, that's alright. Even if the replay value is fairly minimal, it's not like a hugely pricey, full price game or whatever. So that's okay. So you want to steal this and then- oh no, he saw me! Take his newspaper. Okay, okay, let's take the newspaper over here and hide it in the water. The newspaper's ruined now because it's made of paper. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway, yeah, I guess, I guess I've pretty much given my thoughts for this video. I'm just gonna probably keep playing this game, but I'm gonna stop the video here. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, he's so grumpy now. He doesn't have a paper. Aww. So grumpy. Grumpy man. Hang on, can I take his pipe? Yeah. Yeah, look, look. I'm a, I'm a ye olde classy sort of duck. Goose. I'm a goose. I'm not a duck. My horrible goose. Hang on, can I go up there? Maybe. Maybe? Mmm, it doesn't look like it. He's now looking for his shears, or the neighbor's shears, I guess. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm pretty much done for this video, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this game looks cool to you, because I think it's pretty cool, and I reckon you would probably enjoy it if you like weird games. <sighs> weird puzzle games about being a goose. Um, if you liked, um, again, I think if you liked Donut County, which is another indie title that I really enjoyed, I think you'd really enjoy this too. Uh, it feels quite similar in its sense of humor and in the sort of puzzles you have to solve and I'm really enjoying that. Can I do something with this uh this welcome mat here? I think I saw something. Mm, no, I don't think so. I'm not sure what I spotted. But in any case, yeah this game, I like it. It's good. Uh it's on it's on your side of the fence today. I just gotta go over there and look for it. Does he know that his newspaper's been ruined by going into the fountain? Probably. 